Sophia. But I'm super excited today because we got our hands on the brand new line of Bendy and the Ink Machine Pop Figures. And what's so exciting about these new Pop Figures is that we finally, for the first time, get the Butcher Gang made in action figure form. Aw, oh, yes. And all these figures are available to purchase right now on EntertainmentEarth.com. But not only do we get these three figures, but we also get the fourth figure, which is the Projectionist, and we also get a bonus figure, which is the Bendy Doll. <laughs> and the super cool thing about the Bendy Doll is if you look at the back of the box, uh, he's not even listed on here. Oh, weird. So I guess this is like uh, a bonus figure? Ha, <laughs> good enough for me. Well, let's open up this Bendy Doll and take a look at him first, because he's bendy -rific. Oh, look how adorable this little doll is. <laughs> oh man, he's so tiny. I mean, look at this. He's about the half the size of a regular pop figure. He looks great. He looks like one of those little bendy dolls. He's got those big eyes and the streak down his face. Yep, he just looks like the plush bendy but in uh, pop form. So good job, Funko. What an amazing looking figure. All right, so we're gonna end up saving the best for last. So we'll do the butcher gang last. And so next up, we're gonna look at the projectionist. Oh yeah. I think he shows up in what, chapter uh, four? And just look at this character. Oh man, what a crazy looking dude. Zoom in on his face there. And this is where things get really creepy. <laughs> oh, we got ink all over the projector, which he has a projector for a head. So that's kind of creepy and weird. Ugh. Look at his body. He's got that speaker box. He's got super creepy hands. And yep, what a great looking pop figure from the video game. All right, so let's see if this guy stands because I'm kind of doubting that he won't. And, oh, whoa, cool, I guess he does stand. Huh, I thought his head would be too top heavy and he would fall over like that. Well, I guess that's one over on me because I guess Funko made this guy to stand up all on his own. Huh. All right, next up, we're gonna take a look at that super cool Butcher Gang. Oh, yes. Now, I should probably explain that before the Butcher Gang was all tortured and mangled like this, they actually looked like this. Yep, but of course, spending a couple days in the Bendy universe turned them into these twisted, crazy, creepy figures. Ah, uh, yuck. So let's first look at Piper here because I think he's the leader of the group. All right, so here we have Piper, who's super creepy because just look at that huge gaping mouth. Huh, I bet he's horrified. And look at that, he's missing an eyeball. Ugh, gross. He's got ears sticking out of his head. Oh, look at the back of him. Oh, that looks cool. And he's holding a wrench. Oh, neat. Of course, ha, he doesn't stand up too well, unlike the projectionist. So the good thing they packaged a base with him so we can stand him up there. And boom, we've got our super cool figure of Piper. And check this out. He also swivels at the head. So, yep, that's a bonus for this awesome pop figure. Yes, I guess you could say I'm the coolest pop figure that ever lived. Ah, let's not get carried away there, Piper. Everyone knows that I'm the coolest pop figure that ever lived. What? Oh, you're ridiculous. <laughs> well, while they fight it out, let's take a look at the next figure, which is good old Striker. Oh, yeah. This is a crazy looking figure because, well, he's got four arms and, well, three that still exist. His fourth arm actually goes into this little contraption here. But, uh, look at this crazy looking figure. He's got that crazy mouth and the eyeball that's connected to those hinges. Ugh, gross, I'd hate to be in his position. What's that on top, is that a mouth? Ugh, man, this guy's seen better days, I'm sure. And of course, he looks great. Well, even though this figure is super creepy looking, well, he's also super awesome. And look at that, well, he stands on his own, even though he does come with a base, which, uh, well, if we put him on it, we can actually shake the table and he won't fall, which is one of the drawbacks of the old Bendy figure. <laughs> See, I told you I am the better figure because I come with a base. <laughs> uh, don't you, Piper? I want to be the best. Sorry, Bendy. Read it and weep. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, take this. Ah! Oh, boy. What did I get myself into? All right, kids. Well, it looks like we're down to the last figure, which is good old Fisher. And, yep, I saved him for last because he looks like the most hideous out of all these guys. Oh, and I'm right. <laughs> Oh man, just check out this guy. He's got that big head with the, oops, some plastic on his nose so it don't break off. And for good reason. Ooh, just look at that, it's all hollow inside. And yep, pretty cool looking nose. Underneath we've got a, oh he's wearing a sign that says liar. Ugh. He's also holding a wrench here. And oh man, there's boils over here. There's a whole latch system on his back. 
Ugh, gross, and I think there's a fish hanging off there. Oh man, talk about saving the best for last. <laughs> Hope this guy comes to the base because there's no chance this guy's standing up on his own. And look at that, oh yeah, we got a base for this guy too. And guess what, he stands on his own now. Ah, oh, perfect. So let's bring in the other butcher gang guys here. And now we have our whole complete set of the butcher gang. Ah oh, man, it's just like the video game, perfect. All right, kids, well, there's series three of the new Bendy and the Ink Machine figures. And don't forget, we also get this little Bendy doll, which for some reason isn't mentioned on the back of this box. So I'm not sure if it's gonna be an exclusive or not, but there he is, he's part of series three now. And if you ask me, I just love the way these little dolls look. So if they decide to make more of these with old Boris and Alice here, well, I'm pretty much open to it. So I say, bring it on. Well, I just love what they're doing with this whole Bendy and the Ink Machine line, because if we put all these guys together, the only colors we really see here are blacks and whites, and that makes it really cool. And of course, like I said, if you want to get any of these figures for your very own, make sure you check out EntertainmentEarth.com to get yourself a complete set. Alright kids, well there they are, the complete set of Series 3 Funko Pop Bendy and the Ink Machine figures. Oh well, yeah! Hey kids, please help out our 